iOS 26 is absolutely packed with incredible new features. I already started playing around with iOS 26 back in June when the developer beta was released. So I know all the ins and outs and there are some incredible new settings and features that are absolutely going to level up your whole iOS 26 experience. But before going into these 10 settings or features, I'd like to take this moment and thank everyone for being here. Especially I'm grateful for the recent milestones we had. We surpassed 5 million followers on Instagram and 1 million on TikTok. I still cannot process these numbers and I'm so grateful every single day to do this, to do this with you guys and to share this with so many people. So thanks for that. So now that that's out of the way, uh, let's talk about these 10 incredible new settings or features you should change right now on your iPhone. All right, so let's start with my favorite with number one and this has to do with the new phone and call features if we go to settings and then scroll down all the way to the bottom to apps and then we go to the p of a phone and there it is and in here again we need to scroll down to this section here hold assist detection so this is the first one that i highly recommend you to toggle on and what this does is it automatically detects when you're placed on hold so your iphone will recognize actually hold music really funny i think this is done with ai and then you can just step away and your iphone will then call you or notify you again when the hold track or the audio is done and then you'll get notified and you can pick up so you can do something else while all being put on hold and then the second thing also in here is the screen unknown callers don't put this to never but i actually highly recommend you to put this to ask reason for calling and this is going to be a game changer for spam calls and what this does is if you get called by an unsaved or unknown number that person will be asked to provide more information about themselves and you on your iphone will then see a live transcript of what that person is saying and then you can just decide if you're going to pick up this call yes or no based on the live transcript that you are getting two incredible new features in ios 26 that i highly recommend you to toggle on immediately and now let's head over to the third one in settings we go to battery right there and in battery we scroll to the bottom and we go to power mode and as you can see there's a new adaptive power mode this is actually apple's ai power feature and what it does is just recognize how you use your battery during the day and then based on your usage extends your battery life by making adjustments to performance as it's saying here as for example lowering display brightness or certain activities to take a bit longer and automatically even turn on a low power mode if that's needed highly recommended to put that on and also adaptive power notifications next up number four has to do with the new liquid gloss design i know many people are not a big fan of this they find it hard to read sometimes certain texts especially when it's very bright and there is text in certain and images but there are actually ways to tone this down a little bit now in ios 26 and to do this go to settings in settings we scroll to accessibility in accessibility go to display and text size and here is the first feature that you can toggle on in order to tone down this liquid gloss a little bit and that is the reduce transparency one so if you toggle that on you can already see here on top what happens like buttons are going to be less transparent things will be a bit more readable you can also see it on the control center buttons so let me show you that again as you can see uh, there is the really liquid gloss transparent look and when you toggle that on you can see it's not transparent anymore so that's one way to improve the readability in ios 26 with this new liquid gloss design the second thing you can do is just underneath there and that is to increase the contrast this even adds another layer of reduced transparency so when you toggle this on you can already see the contrast are getting increased to make things even more readable we can see that again here on the control center 
and also just overall in settings and inside of other apps for example inside of a safari you can also see it, the whole liquid glass design is more or less diminished and that's definitely something people are looking for i personally absolutely love the new uh, liquid glass design i think it looks amazing and it's future proof and one of my favorite apps that also embraces liquid glass is craft craft is the sponsor of this video thanks for that and and it's amazing that we can actually work with Croft because it's an app we're using ourselves as well. And one of the first to actually implement and embrace this awesome liquid gloss design from Apple. As you can see, look how amazing this looks. Croft really did an incredible job, even if you create a new document. You can just see it's spread out absolutely everywhere and looks incredible. So let's say we create a new document. You can see in the top here how the different buttons, menus, expand and react. When adding new floating elements, for example, it's also extremely nice and noticeable that Croft has been made for iOS 26. Great to see that our favorite productivity and note-taking app Croft just looks like almost Apple made it. Thanks Croft for sponsoring the video. And then number six we need to talk about screenshots. So this is now what you're getting when taking a screenshot. A full screen preview of what you screenshotted. You can then highlight anything you want with the new highlight to search feature or ask anything there is visual intelligence that is implemented now that sees what's on your screen and based on that can help you give recommendations and feedback but i actually prefer not to have this directly shown this full screen preview and there's actually a way to get back to the old screenshot feature so to do that we need to go to settings then in settings we go to a general general scroll to screen capture and as you can see this is the feature we want to toggle off so we don't want to have the full screen preview so let's toggle this off let me give you a demo and as you can see uh, we're familiar with this one easy in the bottom and if you want to go back to that full screen preview you can just tap there if you just quickly want to have multiple screenshots just like that and do multiple things at the same time this is way easier so i prefer this setting a lot then number seven with regard to the camera there's a new cleaning lens feature a really amazing it actually notifies you when your lenses are dirty and you want to take a picture so let's go to camera there it is go all the way to the bottom here and as you can see this is the feature we want to toggle on so it's the lens cleaning hints toggle this on and you will get a notification when your lenses are dirty or covering your photo you get a notification on top when you are in the camera app saying that your lenses are dirty and that you need to clean them Okay, so number seven is the update to the Notes app. If we have a quick overview, we can see uh, iOS 26 now introduces a Notes on Apple Watch. Pretty amazing. Then an adaptive toolbar, and that means that the toolbar icons are adjusting based on what you're doing in your note. And lastly, you can mark down export and import, save a note and download it. So you then can make adjustments in the markdown screen. And yeah, notes just looks amazing. Also with the new liquid gloss design, as you can see, Apple just did an incredible job here at the bottom. For example, a search bar, adding a new note. You can see how bars are expanding, how menus are operating. I'm a massive fan of liquid gloss and it's just great to see that notes is also taking full advantage of this yeah so with apple design we still use notes a lot mainly for just simple and straightforward things actually the app that we use more as a professional note-taking tool and productivity app again is craft it's just very more expansive there are so many more features and possibilities inside of craft compared to notes and that's why we transferred a lot of the stuff we were first doing in notes inside of Croft. Croft allows you to have different spaces. I have a personal space and a space dedicated to Apple design. Here we just have all our different projects through folders and we have our partnerships, content calendar, our YouTube overview, partnership overview. And for us, organizing things through Croft makes it so much easier. Croft is so incredibly powerful. Let me show you, for example, their latest new AI integrated assistant. So what's great also is that you can just use Croft 
offline so let's toggle on airplane mode and then you have the possibility to just use the ai assistance built in even offline and you can choose from an array of different assistants uh, here on default it's put to ChatGPT 4.0 but you can also use apple's own foundation model just to write anything improve any text an absolute game changer if you ask me so yeah definitely make sure to check out craft if you want to bring a, your note taking and productivity the app to the next level next up number nine and this has to do with connecting accessories to your iphone there's actually a, a new privacy and security feature that i highly recommend you to have a look at so we need to go to privacy and security uh, there it is and in privacy and security we scroll all the way to the bottom and as you can see there's this new wired accessory feature so let's click on that as you can see you have different options here i would highly recommend you to not have always allowed toggled on but the most secure thing is obviously always ask but this can be annoying for you if you are connecting your iPhone to USB accessories all the time and you get this notification but what you could do is ask for new accessories or even automatically allow when unlocked but don't put it on always allow this is for safety and security reasons obviously then there are some uh, nice changes to Safari and there is one option that you could change in order to change the look of safari so as you see this is now how it looks by default on ios 26 but you can actually change this design and in order to do that we go to settings then in settings scroll all the way to the bottom to apps and here we need to search for safari obviously there it is click on safari then we go to the tabs section here it is and there are three options so now it's put on compact but there are two other options that are really useful let's start with the first one a bottom so what this does is it gives you a bigger tab on the bottom with the options that were hidden before as opening an extra tab or go to your bookmarks or share this might be something people are more interested in to have instead of the compact view uh, with the compact view you can see you have the back button as well as the three dots here in the bottom right and the other option is to have your bar on top so your search bar will be on top and you'll get your other tools in the bottom just something to know that you can adjust these and everyone obviously has their personal favorites so yeah you can just basically choose one of the options you prefer a very interesting one with regard to notifications if we go to settings scroll to uh, notifications uh, there we go there is this apple intelligence section we need to talk about summarized notifications i highly recommend you to turn this off right now for the simple reason that summaries may contain errors some new summaries for example can give you wrong titles wrong headers wrong information something i personally don't want so i highly recommend you to toggle that one off as well there you have it lovely people i hope this was helpful what is your favorite feature in ios 26 share it with us in the comments and thanks for being here and see you in the next one peace